the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And this is a team that uh, a lot of people seem to really, really like. Uh, Mike Leach doing pretty awesome things there. But I, I got to tell you, the the talent differential just looks to be kind of massive when it comes to this schedule. Uh, we're going to pull up the stats here. Went 7-6 and six last year. Uh, that included a big bowl loss to Texas Tech in the Liberty Bowl. Uh, post-game win expectancy last year was about exactly what you would expect, 6-6. Six and six. Uh, Their projected SP Plus record is 7-5 and five here. Let's go on and start off with the offense. Not exactly explosive. I'll say that. Uh, third year in the system with Mike Leach is going to be big. Efficiency, great. Big play is not so much. Uh, passing rate of 72.21% was number one in FBS. They ranked number six in passing success rate. They were number 10 in overall success rate, but only number 86 in points per play. So they were not explosive at all. They ran a lot of plays. They were able to get down the field, couldn't get the ball in the end zone. Will Rogers, I would imagine, is going to be awesome with another year of experience in that leech offense. The wide receiver court is loaded. You got Wally, Williams, etc. running backs, Marks and Johnson. They can catch the ball quite a bit out of the backfield. Moving over to the defense, Zach Arnett, his 33-5 has helped Leach just a ton, a ton. Uh, number 26 in scoring opportunities, but they were number 90 in points per. So once people got inside the 40-yard line, they were going to score, period. Uh, 80% returning production as far as the defense goes. That's tops in the SEC. It's number 14 overall nationally. Defense was only number 109 in havoc rate, but they were number 32 in stuff rate. So they could stop the run. For sure, the front six here in that 3-3-5 defense is going to be stocked with talent. Again, number 80 in tackles for loss, number 65 in sacks. They were only number 75 in takeaways per game. Uh, will the defense be willing to take more risks this year? They were not super aggressive last year, and I guess I understand that based on the type of offense that they run, right? Uh, they're projected favorites in six games. you got six games that are toss-ups. Now, toss-ups to me are games that are uh, projected to be within eight points, so a one-score game. Win total sits at 6.5. The over is minus 130. The under is plus 100. Uh, the conference odds to win 125 to 1. Uh, to win the division, 66 to 1. Let's talk about keys to the season here. They lead the SEC with 16 returning starters. Rodgers great on offense. But do they have the one guy that you're worried about, either on offensive line or wide receiver, when they lost uh, Makai Polk, they lose Charles Cross. Like Those guys were huge for this team. Arnett knows not to be too aggressive with the leech offense on the other side, but you know, with cornerback Forbes and and all the talent that they've got in the secondary, can you dial up some more aggressive plays? Can you be more risky? There's only two games on the schedule that are surefire wins. Uh, kicking last year was number 124 in field goal percentage. I mean, that's they were 14 out of 25. You got a new kicker coming in, Massimo Biscardi from Coastal Carolina. He was number 32 in that same metric that Mississippi State was number 124 in. So we'll hope that the kicking game uh, improves. I've got Mississippi State at 6-6. Six and six. I'm hoping for better things because I do really like Mike Leach. But, whew, uh, that is, I mean, it's just a rough schedule. I've got a loss to LSU. I've got a loss to A&M, Arkansas, Alabama, Georgia, and Ole Miss. Now, could they beat Ole Miss? Yeah. Could they beat AM? Yeah, they did last year. Uh, could they beat Arkansas? Absolutely. I mean, they've got those two games at home. Uh, the LSU game early. Going down to see Brian Kelly? Yeah. I don't think you're going to out-talent LSU, but you could find a way to maybe get that win. Uh, but there's some of these that I've got as wins that could certainly be losses as well. I've got a win at Kentucky. I've got a win against Auburn. Um, you know, I've got a win over Memphis in the first game. I think they should handle Memphis, but that's a, a tricky game at Arizona in week two. I've got that as a win. Again, Arizona, bunch of new guys. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.